Hey guys, it's Vanna. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Blind. In the last part, we blew up stuff. Now I'm gonna head up these stairs. It's a bit of a... Oh! Oh my gosh! Excuse me? No, I, I know I shouldn't give this person this one. Uh, what happened? Uh, you better get out of here. You better get out of here. Really? I don't know what's going on, Bo. Alright. Dude, I blinked in like mid transition. Oh gosh, so many guys. Just what the hell's going on? Whoa. What the hell is in a G rated game? I'll tell you that. Wonder what's in the world over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protect us of the planet. Avalanche. Oh, there's a ladder. Take that. Who are you there? I shouldn't get people's. Shinra soldiers. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, I got guns! Ah! Use ice on them. Ice. Oh my gosh, you froze my friend. And I, I want to know what Bolt does as well. These guys are actually pretty fast. How much damage does Bolt do? I'm assuming it depends on the enemy. Oh, about the same. I know it probably depends on the enemy. So anyway, we blew up stuff last part. Stuff is happening. I don't. Really Oh gosh, no! Yeah! You know, I haven't saved yet, so this is gonna get really awkward if I die. I don't think I'll die. They're only doing about, like, four damage. Like, I got another potion, I should be okay. Are these guys weak enough just to kill with a sword? Yeah, they are. <laughs> ah, stop hitting me! It's not very nice. Okay, so I think I kind of understand these mechanics. You've got your health, your magic, and you just gotta wait for your time. I'm assuming that depends on the game. Ah! Okay, keep fighting! <laughs> I know they have guns, but the sword is better! Oh, except one guy's from behind. So if they- oh, so I'm assuming it's like double damage if they hit me from behind. I'll get this guy. Then I can at least tackle them from the right sides. Get him! I'm not too sure what that barrier is though. Hit him in the face. There you go. Party! <laughs> you, you know, just being chased by, like, so many police guys. Yep. You know, enough time to do a dance. I don't have some time to mess around with you guys. Look, babbling, grab him! Yeah! Well, off I go. Wait, was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cloud never came. Cloud, think he was killed? No way. Cloud. I can't do the high voice anymore. <laughs> Say, do you think Cloud's going to stay on and fight for Avalanche? Well, how would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Humph! <laughs> if y'all want such screw-ups... Hey, Barry, what about our money? I'm nothing, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> cloud, cloud, cloud. Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right, you're late. 
come waltzing in and make a big scene. It's no big scene. Just what I always do. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't know you could say that upward symbol that I still don't know. Haven't everyone worried about like that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. <laughs> You're worried about me? Well, that's coming out of your share, hot shot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Oh, 3D. Hey, Cloud, you were great back there. Hey, <laughs> hey, Cloud. We'll do even better next time. Careful. I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud. Your face is pitch black. There you go. I don't even know. <laughs> Can't do the high voice no more. Hey, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Like, like I tried to go into falsetto, but I, I can't do low falsetto anymore. Okay, so... What's back here? Nothing back here? 3D! <laughs> okay. So now we're on a train. Last train hour, Sector 8 station. Last stop is Sector 7 train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar standard time. Okay. I like the waving... thing I was... Whoa. I love oh boy. Hello. Oh, okay, sure. How about you? Yeah, I wonder what they will do next. Slow back like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Okay. Ah. Wait, so if I try going this way, it's like, don't bother your pets. I'll change by tomorrow. <laughs> <coughs> ah, gosh. Hello. Oh, yeah, sure. Bombs and monitors. Flashy stuff. Whoa. It's a 1 to 10,000 scale. It's 50 meters. The main pillar supports the plane in the center, and there are other support pillars built in each section. The, switch, the number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section, then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turn out. Phew, look what's next, look! This is the route that the train's on. The route sprawls around the main pillar. It's eight state. We should be coming around the center now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train. Backgrounds of each yeah. uh, and this links up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Fake IDs? I love fake IDs. Speak of the devil, it always means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. Who was back now? What a relief. That's kind of weird. That's very scary, actually. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. If that plane weren't there, we could see the sky. I love this kind of, like, steampunk universe I've got going on. Floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. We're just full of surprises. The upper world, the city on the plane. It's because of that. <laughs> Gosh, this guy is cussing. Because of that pizza and people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't it? Doesn't everybody move on the plane? Don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money, or maybe. Because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know, no one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like the strain, you can't run anywhere except where it rails takes. Oh, allegories. Actually, that's more a simile. 
These full motion videos are actually very cool. <laughs> this guy right here. Everyone has to literally jump off the train. Yeah, sometimes the perspective's kind of weird. I'm not too sure why. Yo, get over here, y'all! Oh, yeah. That's kind of weird. Okay, fine. What? This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Cause the next one's gonna be bigger than that. Okay, sure. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Okay, sure. Wow! <laughs> Alright, what's over here? Holy snap, that's some wreckage. If I've ever seen some. I can't really, I don't think I can go anywhere. Also, there's like one train that's actually there. <laughs> well, I can seem to walk through everyone. Hi. Who the hell are you on? You know who I am? You can't pass. I got a miserable job of keeping scum like you from trying to sneak in there. Okay. Wow, you're great. Damn right, don't waste time talking is what I'm saying. But, uh, <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, sweet, sweet, a save point. What's this guy got? Butt out! See it? There's bombing on top. If this fella should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. It's huge, ain't it? What is? Oh, that! That! That's, that's pretty big! I'd say that's pretty big. It's pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> pretty big. I'll oh, see ya. I don't know who you are. Yeah, I'm coming. But I'm saving. <laughs> okay, we'll save this game. Pop it in the set. I have to wait until it sinks the data. That's really annoying for some reason. Okay. Okay, also I'm assuming I can't access the gate or anything, okay. Just keep going. Heading to the club. What is that, the Otter? The Joyder? It's kinda weird, I scare people away. The what? There's a terrorist? Who's was a maker reactor? Don't care. <laughs> If you ask me if you're not going to make this power, then all the computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, that must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed too. Explosion had to be in the middle of the night. That would have been one thing. At least people could have gone to their sleep. This is a little kid. Oh, dude. This kid has his priorities straight. Hello. Oh my god, what's with all, like, the random cussing? <laughs> like, it's a G-rated game. I understand you got characterization, but bleeping out stuff is, like, so much stuff. I don't know. Papa! Hooray for Papas. Oh my gosh. There's a pinball machine. <laughs> she just starts crying. Marilyn, not you gonna say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Yeah. I should have known. He's always pushing people around. And you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Oh, she has a name too. I shall. She shall be Tifa. I'm so glad everyone's safe. Okay, sure. What about the little girl? The little girl's a little bit shy. I'm gonna play pimple, man. Dang it! Well, they've got beer. Draft beer, even. A 
first drink. <laughs> yeah, why not? Alright. <laughs> Thanks for always letting me taste your cooking. And look at me now, I'm Rosie Posey. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's good food and drinks that make the shop famous. Okay. Hey, Rick, you're getting all excited. Okay. Stop making such a mess. Okay, Wedge. Uh, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> oh, don't tell him about what I just said. Hi. That's okay. Whoa. You're you alright, Barrett? Great. Get in there, fools. We're starting the meeting. Whoa. Alright. What do you want? How about something to drink? Give me something hard. Just a minute, we'll make one for you. So we got alcohol, lots of cussing, terrorism, part two, man, part two. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, sorry. What's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry. Once I get that money, I'm out of here. Cloud, are you feeling alright? Yeah, why? No reason, you just look a little tired, I guess. Okay. I'm going downstairs. Oops. <laughs> Miss Cactus. You gonna be here too uptight? Yeah. The next mission will be to blow up your section 5 reactor. Cloud, you're great. Don't you ever get nervous or you lack like, impervious to feelings? No, that couldn't be it. This guy is punching. Yo, Cloud, there's something I wanna ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go thinking you so bad just cause you was in Soldier. Oh gosh! <laughs> yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra, you asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. <laughs> Aww. Money. Wait, Cloud. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about neither Shinra, nor Suju. Don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. <laughs> okay, sure. Strange things up with you for me. Okay, sure. It's a verbal agreement. What? <laughs> you say you don't care, but you came to talk to me. Yeah, you just want friends. <laughs> you look lonely. <laughs> what the heck is this guy? <laughs> Oh my gosh, there is some really nice writing. No wonder why people say Seven's really good. I'm enjoying it. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry, Tifa. The plan is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So you're really leaving? You're just gonna walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend? What? 
How can you say that? You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud? It was seven years ago. All kind of the same. Look, the whale. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. <laughs> I'm gonna give him like like little kid voices. I thought you said you'd never come. I thought you would never come, and I was getting you cold. Aww. Sorry, I'm late. Aww. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this way. I'm leaving town for big year. All your boys are leaving town. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. We're gonna be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Huh? If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come save me, alright? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. Wait. Come on, promise me. Alright, I promise. <laughs> oh, those promises. You can never promise, promise. Oh, I'm shooting sir, of course. Hello, Mr. Cliche. You remember our promise now, don't you? Our promise. I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. I did not even taking the, the pinball left. Wait a second, big time brother, Soldier. <laughs> promise is a promise. Here. Ding. Ah, that's that's pretty good. This is my pay. Don't make me laugh. What? Then you. You got the next mission lined up, I do it for 3,000. What? It's okay, it's okay. Psst, we're really out of help, right? Uh, I know it's the morning of school. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. We got a lot of cutscenes. I'd like to actually get into the next bit of action, you know? I know we started off with a big action scene, so I'm all cool with that. Do a bit of immediate res, you know? Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Oh! <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm going this time. Okay, sure. Can I, can I talk to little Marlene? Nope. Marlene's doing all the bar duty. I'm trying to search the five reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, I don't really know what to, how to use material. I'll give you that material we found. Just teach me how to use it. Say. So, okay, I'll explain it. Oh. Sure, I'll explain how material works. I think I just skipped a box. You know the basic function. Press menu to bring up the menu. Directing buttons to move the cursor. I'm not supposed to use this menu. Like this. There's a material option. Select each item. See the menu. But you use it okay. Once you leave the menu, just push cancel. See, let's go ahead. I don't know. Select the material sub-menu. 
Do you want to use it? Now look at my weapon here. Each weapon now has slots in it. Choose which slot you want for material in. Oh. Uh, now select the material you want to use. Okay, so. So these are like superpowers. This is curative material. If you want to know what its effect is, land it the curse with the check in the menu. Push the OK button. My, my voice is gonna kill after this, so I'm just gonna like stop doing this. It's just like selected battle commands, blah blah blah. So I'm assuming, oh, so I can, oh, I, so I can give myself little abilities. So I can give myself the restore one, and now I can use the cure magic. Ah, uh, see, I don't know. I feel like giving that to um, so uh, not Cloud, because Cloud's got all the offensive magic. What? Whenever I click equip material, my situation changes. Oh, so my magic goes up and my strength goes down. Yeah, see. Well, I don't know, actually. If it ups my magic, that may be ha uh, handier. So material is a double-edged sword. Well, it's usually better, wouldn't it? And... Why is not to overuse? Okay. Okay, sure. That's about it. So advanced tips later. All right. <coughs> what's this? Wasn't that tough? Crap. What's this? It wasn't that tough? Crap. I don't get it. Just handle the material, Cloud. All right, sure. Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. Because leave a five-year-old to handling a bar. All right, yuck. All right, sure. So can I save in here? Nope. Where can I save? I think I can always just back up. It's kind of nice place. Well, where are you going? I would like to use your bathroom. Need to go in your toilet. Okay. <coughs> oh, my throat. Whoa! 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 That guy, that guy right there. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, he's just trying to talk to that dude. <laughs> so this person's selling me off for trying to talk to her. Okay. So I guess I can end the part off here. Uh, I, I have an access it. Now I have. Uh, anyway, with that, I, I guess I'll see you guys next time. When we, oh, Dang it. I guess I'll see you guys next time when we'll continue on with doing stuff and things. When we'll continue on with doing stuff and things. I, I don't know. We're doing this blind, so I, I don't exactly know. Not a lot of combat this part. See if it's level 5. That's kind of sucky. But anyway, I guess with that, I'll see you guys next time. See you kids then.